that uh, really could change things. As far as I can see, the top two there will qualify. So the next match features Sainan Awal, the number three seed from, in from India, up against the left-handed Bei Yunju. So Sainan Awal, the Olympic bronze medalist, two titles this year at Super Series level, the Australian Super Series and the China Premier uh, Super Series. Her opponents, the same age, 24 years of age, the left-hander who reached the final of the Super Series Finals, the 2010 edition, while well, she's been in two semi-finals earlier this year. Let's make some noise for the players. Sign an AWOL. The world number four. The number three seed here at the Super Series Finals. Two matches played. Two matches won. left-handed Bei Yongju from Masan. Number eight on the world rankings up one place this week. And indeed she finished the Super Series at number eight on the Destination Dubai list. Ten tournaments for her this year, two semi-finals. And as far as she is concerned, she lost her first match to compatriot Sun Ji Hyung. Yesterday, she beat the number one seed, Wang Shoshian. Shuffle or uh, racket? Racket. 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 Fourth. This side. So that's Seven. interesting. Choosing the near side of the court, the left-hander. And as Morton and I were saying a little earlier, I don't understand why players don't do that the whole time. So the 11th time that uh, Bei Yongju and Saina Nawal will do battle on the badminton court. The previous 10 occasions, Saina Nawal has won six of them, including the last, which was on the Friday of the Super Series Finals last year, exactly one year ago. And of course that occasion, it was won by Sina Nawal. Number four seed, the Olympic bronze medalist, the 24-year-old, 10 Super Series this year, winning two of them. But apart from that, only six quarterfinals one first round loss and one second round loss. So it's been a mixed year for Sina Nawal. But as I was saying on the Wednesday, she beat the number one seed, Wang Xiaoxian, 21-17, 21-18. And then yesterday beat Sung Ji Hyung, 21-12, 21-18. So both of her matches played, she's won, and she's won in two straight games. Her opponent, Bei Yung Ju, well, she lost. Her first match to Sung Ji Hyung, the world number eight. Up one place in this week's world ranking. And her win-loss record for the year, well, she hasn't been beyond the semi-final of any tournament. But one of them was the Asian Games. So, of course, she picked up a, a bronze medal at the Asian Games in her home country. So this... Ready to play is quite simple as far as Sina Nawal is concerned as we look at our umpire Jakob Simberg from Denmark, Bert van Horemek from Belgium, the service judge. If Sina Nawal either wins or at least 
goes to three games against her opponent, then she finishes top of the group and Bae Young-ju will be eliminated. So if Bae Young-ju wants to qualify, she needs to win in two straight games and it will come down to a points difference. So the Olympic bronze medalist Sina Awal getting this vital group match underway. Group A. Well, there has been plenty of support every day here in Dubai for the Indian players. Shrikant Kidambi, of course, in the men's singles and for Sina Awal here in the women's singles. And it's great to have the fans being so vocal. Oh, dear me, that's a complete mishit. For Morton, 11th meeting, 10 previous meetings. I know Sina Awal has the advantage, 6 and 4. But it indicates to me that these two players are very evenly matched. Six times of their previous 10 occasions that they've played, it's gone the full distance. I, I think so. And, you know, once again, we have to say that uh, I think the conditions here suits both players. They're both mm. very physical players, and, and therefore we can have a very, very hard fight here. Very yeah. hard. One, two. Kumar takes a big in take of breath, as indeed did I. Oh dear, that's a horrible miss, isn't it? Yeah, there was one player considering herself very lucky. But this is the sort of rallies I think we will be looking forward to. Long, grueling, hard rallies. pleasure of watching uh, sign an AWOL earlier in the tournament that's great judgment isn't it, it? Is. just yes. just long and therefore we've talked about her qualities and her fighting spirits I do think she's playing a little more aggressively than she has done in recent months now under the charge of Vimal Kumar she is and she she really attacks the net as well as what we just saw there she's really going all up there trying to set up good attacking opportunities. 
but it's a very physical game she's playing. Very physical. Yeah. So obviously it's, it's once again for Bay Yun Yu to, to try to to slow it down, stay with her opponent for as long as possible to see if she can take the edge away from Sign and Abel and then square it all and then play from there. <laughs> yeah, a great support. Yeah. Now we saw a glimpse of a, a little poster saying India's Wonder Girl, and she really is. Going wide. She is a mega star in her country. Yes, badminton is a is a big sport in India. Been it for many years, many many years, and uh, obviously it's pleasing the Indian population when they have players like Sina Nehwal getting all the way up to the top of the world and winning that bronze at the Olympics in 2012. Really, really did it. Oh, that's landed in. Yes, when Sina Nawal won the bronze medal, it was only the second Indian woman ever to medal at the Olympic Games. First being in weightlifting. And then, of course, a couple of days after Sina Nawal won her bronze medal, Mary Com in the boxing, she won. Another bronze medal for India. But when medals, uh, you've only had three for your country in all of sport, yes. that just indicates how special it is. And I agree. I, I was a little bit baffled when you said, yeah, there was only one previous. I thought, who in badminton did No, no. <laughs> and it wasn't badminton. No. <laughs> it was weightlifting. was the weightlifter. Mm. 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. So it was a long time waiting for that second Olympic medal for India from one of their female athletes. Oh, goodness me, yeah. Seemed to be in two minds there. Uh, she, she was surprised with the fact that this one, this one is coming flat towards her body. She expected that it would be a straightforward follow-in, but it wasn't. That was good play by the Korean. But Bae Yun Yu really cannot afford to make mistakes like that. It's just adding on to the confidence of Sine and Abel. Plus, obviously, she's not held on court for long enough. So it's, it's, it's really, really not the best. Well, lucky return Five. of serve at the top of the tape. Going over. Yeah, 11 4. It would have been. Yeah. That's, oh, that's good. a good smash. Yeah, that's nice. Six, ten. consecutive neck cords win the last two rallies yeah no wonder she smiles
goodness, Sina Nawal's working hard in this rally, isn't she? She is another nice net court played by Bay Dunyu here. Really good play at the net. Well, this is when, the one. Yeah. Well, the first two I would have said were pretty lucky net cords. That yeah. I would have said was good skill. Yeah. 25 shots. advantage to sign an AWOL at the mid-game interval. Well, had it not been for that lucky net cord from the left-hander, it might well have been 11-4. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three points the advantage. Oh, that's good play. That is magnificent play from Simon Awal. Deep backhand corner, and then the smash down the forehand side, and then the backhand net. Classic case of outmaneuvering her opponent. Uh, good shot, good shot. Yeah, yeah. so too is that. Yeah. Thank you, so but that's one of the favourite shots, but the other one really got her out, out of trouble. That one there. And she's back in the rally. Nine. Plays a super shot there. That's a nice drop, too. That is perfect. What a wonderful, wonderful punch clear from Simon Awok. 13, 10. She had to really dig deep in that rally. She was pushed and pulled all over the court. Yes, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that, you know, Sina was um, very successful, sort of bullying her way through in the early stages of this match, the really big power smashes. But as the Korean is sort of getting into the match, her defence is getting better. And I think Sina there will have to have to play with more patience as what she did in that rally because she can't just force her way through anymore. See that one is coming back and once again she's trying 
but you know more and more is coming back so now she's got to play badminton she just can't force away through with big power smashes 13. and think she can get through in that way she's got to open up play with patience and then go for the attack Once good. again, once yeah. again, that's a good shot. Yeah. Twelve, thirteen. I always think that Bei Yongju is one of those players that's grossly underrated in world terms. I think that she's got the capability. We've seen it on a number of occasions where she's reached finals, but she doesn't seem to be in the limelight really. No, the, the thing is, I, I think on, on many occasions when they play... Oh, there's a challenge, challenge here. Oh, yes. She's going to lose that one. Yeah. Hold out. Yeah. yeah. I, th but I think that Bei Yun Yu, she lacks a little bit of pace on, on the very top, and that's why she's not winning the, the events. Yeah. Three Super Series finals she's been in, but not won one of them. Yeah, but three Super Series finals in... Oh, that's called out. Yeah. Challenge so unsuccessful. So the line judge was right. One challenge remaining. Oh, yeah, I, I got it the Service other over. way around. Yeah, so, I sorry. know. 13-0. Yeah. But it's over many years. She's been up on the circuit for, for quite a number of years. Yeah. So in fact, it was four years ago that she reached the final, the Super Series finals. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. She, yeah. She's lacking a 14, little bit of pace 14. that some of the other players are having. So oh. it's, she has to be struggling a lot. Are you talking about pace of movement or pace of shot? Uh, pace of movement. Okay. Well, oh, back level, she's oh. done well. She has. And it was those three net courts that really got her back in the game. Oh, it's going wide. I thought she was going to play that for a moment. <laughs> she was just testing you there. <laughs> 15, 14. I have actually wondered, Morton, whether there's a little bit of a sideways drift as well, going from right to, to left, left as we look at the court. Yeah. Can't really, I haven't yes, noticed. Fraction. Yeah. Now the big smashes are coming in again. That's that. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah. Well, well, well. 16, 14. I think this is, you know, this is what I meant when I say that Bei Yong Yu really have to try to take the top off Sina Nebel. That's exactly what she's mm. doing. She's soaking up all the pressure, yeah. playing the defence, and she's getting into it, and long, gruelling rallies, and suddenly she, it's, it's much more level. Yeah. And, and she can play her shots, and she's there now. Look at that. She, she's got beautiful shots when uh, yeah. she's got time to play them. That's, oh, that's long. Yeah. Uh, I was just focusing on the, the sideline. But this is worrying times. Yeah. Seven of the last eight points going to Bayou Youngju. 10 13 down she was. Oh, that's delightful. That really is. Eighteen, fourteen.
Oh, look at that. Look she is at having that. a field day. She is enjoying herself. You can see it. She dares 19, to play all the shots. She's 14. got such a good feeling yeah. on court now. She yeah. really feels confident. You know, you can see on a player when he or she is into this zone where, you know, I'm just playing the game. I'm going with the flow. And that's what I think that uh, Bei Yunju is doing right now. Oh, it's landed in. So yeah. much for my theory about the sideways so dribble. <laughs> <laughs> Had it not been there, it would have been further in. <laughs> Being nice to you now. 15, 19. <laughs> what happens if the Korean wins in two? 15, nice. so A lovely return of serve. Well, she's on the verge of winning this 15. opening game, that's for certain. I'm going to look closely and answer your question after the mid-game, after the this first game. That's a nice shot again. Yeah. See, she can't bully her way through. She can't. Oh, she's touched uh, the net. She's touched no, no, the net. No, it was, it was the shot. Okay. Well, either way, it doesn't make a difference game, because the first I game... 21, 15. 11 of 13 points at the end of that game for Bei Yung Ju. That is just an extraordinary turnaround. 21 minutes. Yeah, it could have been 11 4 for Sina Neville at the mid game interval. And it's interesting here to watch that Son Wan Ho. The, the men's singles player is in there helping uh, with the coaching, and that's not something you see very often with the Koreans. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, Morton, in answer to your question, if Bei Young Ju were to win this match in two straight games, then it would be quite fascinating because we'd have three players, not only the two on court, but Sung Ji Hyun as well, who would all finish with two wins. Two wins, yes. Their three matches. Oh. Second game. And all of their the game win loss records Play. would be four and two. Four and two, yes. And therefore it would all come down to, to points. points. So no wonder I couldn't work it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what, what that's a lovely. nice disguise. One, no. This is a good rally, isn't it? It is. Well, it's gone long. Ten 
scrambling <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that, that was going out that was going way wide I can't believe that Same I cannot up. believe she got away with that look at that very 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 slow drop shot Bay Yuni Jew is playing three. from the backhand look, that one that one is out miles out but this one here look at that how slow it is and then that shot there from Sina Naval, that was shocking. What should she have played? Anything but that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but I think the idea was fine. It's just the execution was completely off. But I think it's interesting. You know, I'm watching it. Have you seen Sina Naval power smash apart from that one? Oh, the commentator's curse. Not one smash in the first five rallies. Here she, trying, she tries again, but she doesn't get through. Which was what the problem was at the end of the opening game. Yes, she doesn't get through, so she stopped smashing. And she starts playing around, uh, playing, you know, trying to outmaneuver the opponent. And I think she finds it very frustrating that she can't Four, score on her two. normal good point with this smash. I think it's mentally denting her a little bit. Sign and Abel here in the picture just have to dig deep. She's got to play with patience and believe in her physical ability and then work it. There's no easy way around this one. Now she's trying again. She's trying to see if she can score Three, easy points. Six. She's going for the big smash again. that net shot Four, from Bay Young Ju. That was extraordinary. First of all, the backhand cross-court net shot. Look how low she takes that. Yeah. Slices, chops underneath the shuttle to play a tight spinning net shot. Oh, dear me. That's yes, impatience. I was going to say. Five. Six. Oh, it's a little bit of deja vu, isn't it, from the opening game? Except Sine and Awol in the opening game had an 8-2 lead rather than here in the second. She had a 6-2 lead. But one thing is certain, it's back level. 6 all. Six. 
But this is awfully close, isn't it? Every time Saina is pulling away, Bei Yun Chu is catching up. Good shot. It's going That's wide. Uh, oh, I'm maybe back on my theory about the sideways drift. Eight, <laughs> six. Good stuff. That was an example of when I say that Bei Yunju is lacking a little bit of pace. She can't get to that one. It's, it's, it's a good shot, but it's not a perfect, perfect shot. But still, she was too much out of position to get it. But the net play here is awesome. straight points from Bei Yung Ju to catch back up to six all and now four straight points from Sine and A Walter. Be ten six. Make that five straight points for a five point advantage at mid game interval. What a peculiar run of points. <laughs> I think it's fascinating that Son Wan Ho is on the coach's bench, but the uh, official Korean coach is far Eleven, more concentrated six. normally on the doubles, so it's maybe that Play. he's brought in a singles expert to help on the con coaching side. Rally again. Oh, unbelievable. Every inch of the court explored in that rally. Look at that. Bringing the opponent forward, pushing 13, them back, making them 16. twist and turn. 32 shots, and I think that's the longest of the match so far. Well, this is seven straight points. And I think this is it. I don't think Sign and Abel is going to let this one go. Obviously, that's lucky, but I don't think she will let it go. 
she will win this game and then secure her place. Yeah. is sadly out <laughs> <laughs> because it's nine straight points <laughs> how could you do that <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome lift that was a good lift Yes, it is. Seven, seven, but that, I suspect you're right, Morton, was the decisive move. It was. I, I really can't see Isaina there will let this one go. It, it, it will not slip away from her. That's out. Just out. Seven, seven. But a good shot, very good shot. 16, 7. Eleven of the last twelve points. This is extraordinary, Martin. It is. But I think the change of tactic from Simon there will really helped her a lot in this in this game. The fact that she's not going for the power smash and playing herself a little bit out of position, but playing more patiently, waiting for for the chance and and really pushing her opponent around is doing lots of goods for her. in the second it is one game all just under 40 minutes of play the beginning it's a DLO this arrives doesn't happen just keep it in play you can do the play if you're playing the right game you have the patience no need to unnecessarily hit them when you get the opportunity when you hit them that's why you keep it in keep it in and you're all fine keeping the shuffle in play that's good enough come on Speak it, man. Come on. 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 Come on.
카트 넣으면 뭔가 길게 카트를 길게 대놓고 뒤로 봐. 뒤로. 길게 대는 무조건 못 찔러 잖아. 할 거야 할때 붙여 그냥 어? 길게 하니까 길게 카트 붙여놓고 뒤에서 와서 거기서 만 거기서 만들어. Well, Sina Ray is looking fairly relaxed now. She knows that by winning a game, even if she doesn't win the match, she qualifies for the semi finals. Final game, love all, play. Just long. Sense over. Well, I do think it's absolutely One. essential as love. far as the left-handed Bei Yung Ju is concerned, having uh, in that second game just won one of the last 16 points. She must make a good start to this deciding game just to give herself the belief again, I suspect. Yeah, but the interesting part now is that she she's not playing for herself anymore. She's playing for Korea. And by saying that, obviously, if she can keep Saina on court for as long as possible, sap her from energy. It can help her compatriots who will qualify for the semi-final. So, yes. Love. Yeah. So she's playing for Korea now, she's not playing for herself. She knows that she can't go through, but never mind, she's still giving her every best in order to try to win this one and take the energy out of Sina. Which means that one of four in the semi-final will be out physically but obviously she can't do it but she will do her best to do it yeah three no well Bei Yong Ju is safe in the knowledge that regardless of what happens here she will finish third she's out in the group but the important thing on that i think morton is the fact that she finishes above <laughs> Wang Shoshian, who was the number one seed coming in to these super series finals and when they played against each other one, yesterday three. going into that match yeah. bei yong ju was love and 12. yeah against i know i know this is Wang Shixian. <laughs> it was only when they played in junior competition quarter final of the world junior championships so i think for bei yong ju that's been it's a been a good tournament no matter what <laughs> yeah and it's important milestone for her to have broken that duck against Wang so Xia. yes and i think apart from the fact that she wants to try and tar oh, simon awal i think that bei yong ju i think there's been quite a lot of attention around sung ji hyung in korea and i think she wants to prove a point as well so i think there's a personal desire here as well that she wants to win this third game just to prove a point and uh, to all of us because i said in the opening game i thought that she's underrated you know and she wants to send a signal i'm still one of the best players and i'm a challenger mm. against anyone in the world yeah yeah good point five one good point
waited for the right opportunity on that one. She did. And as we Mark and Mar said Two. earlier, it was actually in the first oh. game. You know, you've got better chances when you cross court smash. And I agree with him on that as well. And in the interval between the second and the third game here, he was saying, patience, just play, just do what's necessary, don't attack too much, just play. A bad shot. Look at this. Oh, perfect. Yeah, do what's necessary, you and I. And your wife were discussing that all last night. The principle of necessity over our yeah. cup of tea in the evening. Yes, yeah, so what it takes. Yep. You know, you have to apply a different style and tactics if you're playing Linden or if you're playing somebody else that's for sure that's normally the example I usually use yeah that's a nice net shot Six over. Six, three. Oh, that was going wide too. That was definitely wide, yes. Oh! Well, down. But not yet out, Bay Young Ju. stretch on her backhand defence she lunged on the wrong leg going for that backhand defence really Morton didn't she she did but it shows great commitment in what yeah. she's doing Seven. absolutely great commitment on the clear there Seven. from Sine and Ewald. Well. 
Yeah, certainly was. That's if he shot this uh, out. Yes. Oh. Well, I think she might challenge. She's looking to her coach. Too late. Too late. Good umpiring. Good, good umpiring. Now, I notice. Yep. Jakobsen Merg saying you've got to call right away. And I was just about to say, Morton, yeah. that she turns, looks to her coach. We he, see it now. Yeah. That's out. Yeah, so she would have Lost wasted a challenge anyway. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I noticed in the opening game, I think it was when Sina Nawal made a challenge, and she too had looked to her coach and got advice as to whether to challenge or not. Mm. And I think that's good umpiring because you have to make the decision yourself as a player. And it's got to be instant. Exactly. Five straight Eight. points. Seven. From Sion and Awal to go into the lead. down the net. Well, it was a run of six straight points, which really has Eight, nine. put a different complexion on this deciding game because at 3-7 down, one felt that Bei Yongju was beginning to really make inroads. Left-hander with the advantage, albeit just one solitary point as they change ends in this deciding game. Ten, 
So just one point in it here in this deciding game. Oh, that's gone wide. Seven's over. Eleven, four. Bayonju wasn't ready in the umpire could clearly see that. That's why he called the let. This is such a difficult one to call, isn't it? Well, Who's going to win this? I have no idea. You know, you toss a coin and then see what happens. You, you yeah. can't call it. No. The, I have really, on purpose, avoided that because, you know, I, I think it's impossible. Mm. Oh, good commitment. That's good from Simon Awa. Don't often see her do that, do we, Morton? No, we don't, but we have seen it on occasions in this tournament. Yeah. Which um, is, a, is a sign of, of a new thing coming into her game. Yeah. Maybe that's one of the things that... Vimal Kumar has been working on. Oh, that was going out, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, but she played a lovely <laughs> shot, and in fact, Sine and Awal turning and pointing towards the deep backhand <laughs> corner on her side of the court as if to say, I should have left it. I should have left it. <laughs> that one. Yeah. But this oh, one is a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the point. Well, is that going out, boss? <laughs> yeah, I think it may have been. Never mind. Next point. Yunju was 13. too late coming back here. She was too late getting back into base position. Yeah, we often talk about the speed of movement to the shuttle, mm. but the speed of movement back into the ready position to be ready for the next shot is mm. equally as important. Very, very important. And she was too late, and that's why she did not manage to react to that very nice slice shot. on their feet. Look at that. How on earth did she control that? She took it so late and yet still played the tumble. She did. It's a very, very difficult shot, especially on the forehand side. Yeah. 15, 13. Oh, 
Oh, that's gone wide. So after an exactly an hour of play, Simon Awal opens 16, up a three-point cushion in this third and deciding game. Make that four-point cushion. Yeah, it was a poor clear from Bay Yunju. It was not only short, but it was also towards the centre. Look at that. Sina Neville just had to take one or two steps, and she was there. She likes that shot, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, we've done it. Oh, it's called good. There's an instant James, challenge here Simon <laughs> from Simon and Abel. <laughs> Didn't take any chances on that, did she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, challenge. Yeah. Well, you see, the players learn quickly. They do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no one of this asking coaches whether I should challenge or not. They'll all learn very quickly. Oh, and I said it was wide, didn't I? But it was called in. Oh, and the line judge was right. So that's no challenges left. Unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Seven over. 14, 17. Right, that's it. I'm not making any more predictions on these challenges. <laughs> <laughs> no, we get it awfully wrong. That's out. Fifteen, seventeen. Only two points away from emphatically stumping her authority as the number one player in this group. Set it over. 16 19. Wait a Four. minute. Oh. oh no, 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 no. We can't have that. The line judge it changed his mind. He did. It is. So that. she's not going to challenge when it's been in her favour. No, no, definitely. He had, he originally. Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, dear, dear. Because the line judge initially indicated in. Yeah. She immediately challenged, but no, the line judge changed, changed his mind to yeah. indicate out. So she's challenged something that was in her favour. Challenge successful. Okay, okay. Well, the, the umpire is doing well. Yeah. 19. The umpire is doing very well. Yeah. He's neglecting that uh, the last <laughs> indication yeah. from the, uh, the line judge. Well, one thing is certain it's match point opportunities for Sine and Awal. The number three seed, three match points to be precise. Twenty-one seventeen in the deciding game. Three matches played, three matches won for Simon Awell to top the group. An hour and 
six minutes of pulsating badminton. What a great match that was. Their confirmation coming from a game deficit. 15-21, 21-7, 21-17. And that run of points in the second game was something I don't think I've ever really seen before. 15 of 16 points from uh, Simon Awal from 6 all to close out that second game, 21-7. They're big smiles, and why not? Top of Group A. Well, as I was saying, uh, that means that Sina Newell has uh, played 3-1-3. Three, three. Sung Ji Hyun will join her at the semi-final stage, but what a surprise that the number one seed, Wang Shexian, has finished fourth of Group A. Well, as we saw earlier, Akane Yamaguchi tops a group B with her victory over Tai Su Ying. That was a group decider, that match we saw earlier between the two of them. So there's the former world junior champion, Kenta Momoto, waiting for his match against Tommy Sugiato. Kenta Momoto. The 20 year old from Japan finished the year ranked six on the Super Series ranking, having 